Heidi ho my crafty friends. Welcome to the Ladybug Journals and to my craft room today. Today we are going to make some fun ephemera for our uh, journals and they can be Christmas ephemera, they can be spring, or they can be fall. They can be any season and they are so much fun to make. They're actually kind of addictive because once I started making them, I could not stop. Um, so I ended up with a boatload of them and I want to show them to you. Now, the original video for these came from Pam at the Paper Outpost. Um, if you haven't seen Pam, uh, you need to definitely, after you're finished here, go over and see her, um, uh, her, her site because she's got some fabulous ideas. Um, but I've kind of adjusted it a little bit to my style of crafting. Um, and to my style of my journals. So let's get started and see what we come up with. So what we're going to be doing here, I'll show you on this little Christmas tree. It's a little mini file folder. Um, it's got a little pocket on the inside. Uh, there's a spot for journaling here. You can journal up here. And there's even space for a little pocket back here or up front. And as you can see, I put a little pocket on the front on this one. On the back, there's a little pocket back here on this one. On this one, I didn't put any pockets on the outside, but I did put a big pocket on the inside. And they're all different. Uh, this one's held together with a paper clip that just has a little bit of lace on it. And there's two pockets on the inside. So as you can see, there's just all kinds of things that you can do with them. Um, and I just kind of went hog wild and pig crazy with them. Um, I used a little bit of washi tape um, on the bottom to, uh, to hold them together. And as you can tell by what's on my desk... They're made from the large index cards. And here, I'm going to push you up just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. The large index cards. And the large index cards measure, or my large index cards measure, let me tell you here, they measure one, two, three, they measure four, they measure four by six. Now, I happened to pick this stack up at um, my local Dollar General store, and they are rather thin. So I covered them with some cardstock. Um, just just your basic uh, cardstock. It wasn't anything super heavy. It wasn't anything, you know, wild and crazy. It was just a basic piece of cardstock to kind of give this a little more weight. Um, and once I get it together with some some washi tape or even some fabric or another piece of paper, it's going to feel a little more sturdy. Now, I just glued these, and the reason I glued them first was because I like rounded corners on mine, and I can never get the corners rounded after I get the little, you know, the little file bump, you know, that little file bump that they always have. So I'm going to show you how I get that little file bump on mine and exactly what I do. So as you can tell, one of my index cards is shorter than the other. And that's how I do it different from Pam. Pam's are the same height all the way across. Um, but mine, mine are shorter. I found for me, I prefer one to be shorter. And I pulled out just you know, a card from my um, recipe box. It happens to be the miscellaneous card. Um, and that's what I use to make my little file bump. I just stick it across there um, and I find out where the top is. And that's where the top of my card is. And then I scoot it down. And that's where I want my file bump to be. That's why this card, I cut shorter. I cut it off because I'm going to be cutting this piece off in a minute. So it's okay to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to line these up. Now, I just glued them, so we're going to see if it works. And I'm going to use my crocodile chomper here. And I'm going to round my corners. And I don't know if this is going to work or not since I'm going to be cutting this off. Probably not, but... 
I want to get them lined up to do it. Since I'm going to be cutting that off, I'm probably going to have to do it again, aren't I? And you're going, why are you doing that, you crazy woman? Okay, so here's my top. And here is where my bump is going, right? Right here. And I don't ink. I don't usually do any inking right there. Now, to hold that in place, I'm just going to use a paper clip. I might end up using two paper clips, but I'm not thinking the other one's going to fit. Unless maybe I can get a big one. If I can get a big one up there. Okay, that might work. And as you can see, I have, I have a pattern here that I made for myself. It tells me where to cut off and where, how big my pockets are and, and everything. So I can put that right there and then I can take a pencil and I can just draw around my file bump, just like that. Just like that. And I know that that's gonna come off. See, I told you, I told you. Rounding that corner wasn't going to do me a lick of good, was it? So, I'm going to go on and scoot this over. Yeah, that's what happens when I don't think ahead. Here, I'm going to have to turn this over to get my long side. Okay. But that's okay. I know where it needs to go. So... Where'd my scissors go? Here they are. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to go on and round this side before I do anything else. I'm just going to go on and put it in there and round it. Just like that. And I'm going to go on and do this side. And the hardest part I found was rounding your corners after the file bump was in. That was the hardest part for me. Let's see if I can get this in there. Uh, maybe. Um, it didn't work too bad. But I couldn't get my uh, file corners rounded. Okay. And then you cut this out. There we go. Now, I could use my little scissors and round them. Which I guess I could do. Let's see if we can get them rounded here. If you don't like that square look. Let's see how well we can do it. I'm not very good at this. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Okay. Now as you guys know, I'm an inker. So before I do anything else, let's move that. Let's get rid of our trash. And let's do some inking on our new pages. Let's get the trash off of here so I don't have it everywhere. Now, you can ink in any color you want. It's, good heavens. Um, as you can see, on some of these, I inked in pink. Um, like this one is a pink and brown. And this one is a brown and green. So you can ink if you're an inker. and Go wild and crazy. Ink whatever colors you want. Um, they don't all just have to be a single color. They can be any color you want. Okay, so now the reason I'm doing this is I want to cover this white edge up here, but I don't want to interfere with my writing space. And as you'll notice, the lines are on the inside. Now, if you're not going to use this as a journaling spot, if you're just going to use this for something else, um, strictly for pockets or strictly just for decoration, then you don't need to worry about those little pockets. Um, okay, make that look like fingerprints have been there. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, where the lines are. You can put the lines on the on this side of the paper when you cover it. Um, that that's fine and dandy. Okay, so we're done with this here. We're going to halo these edges here a little bit. Make them look like they've been touched. Okay. 
Now, let's get that out of our way. And let's get this out of our way. Let's put this up here because I've already dropped it a couple times. Okay, so this is what we're going to look like now. Just like this. And I didn't do a very good job at the top of this, did I? I certainly did not. Goodness sakes, that looks terrible. Okay, I can come back and do that. Okay, now, what you're going to do across the bottom here? Oh, I've got this going the wrong direction. <laughs> Something looked a little weird. Is the first thing you got to do is you got to make sure that you're even. Everything needs to be even because we're going to cover this. And like I said, you can use washi tape. You can use paper. There we go. Um, you can use fabric. You can use... You can use whatever you want to cover this bottom, but it has to open like this, okay? So I think this time around, and you want to put, you want to line them up like this. Let me make sure you can see. Okay, so we want to line them up like that. And let's see, let's look at our paper scraps that we have here. I have my paper scrap box. Let's see, what paper do we have here? And I don't think they have to match because, well, you're not going to see them. I think I'm going to put this on the outside. Okay, so let me turn it over here. I want that. Okay. Let me get my glue. Now, I'm going to measure my length, and I'm going to turn a little bit of it around the edge. So, I'm going to cut this off right here. Remember, this is only six inches long, so I don't need that full length. But I do want to fold this in half, because that will make it easier for me to get it in the corners there. Okay, so I'm folding this in half. And I'm doing my best to make it even. Okay, let's get our... And I can guarantee you it's not even. Because, well, I folded it. So so if you want to score it, you can go on and score it. Um, of course, if you're a better paper folder than I am, then you're going to be doing a much better job. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up. But you're not going to put it right level with that crease. So you're going to put it in there. Just like if, if you were putting a flip in your book, you don't put it right smack against the crease. Because then it doesn't open smoothly. So I'm going to sit it right, right there. And this side's going to go right here. You see that little white line that's in the middle where my crease is? That's what's going to be between it. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue down here. And this is our glitter glue, so I'm not going to have time to piddle. i gotta, I got to make my decision and go with it. So let's see where my fold is. Let me try to get it centered. Right there. Okay. This side needs to go in a little bit. Oh, come on. Cooperate. There we go. Let's get it in there. Okay. Now let's do the other side. Okay. Okay, now the important thing is to get your edges lined up. And to leave that little smidgen of an edge. Okay, right there. So that it it's not smacking against it. Okay. All right, 
Now I'm going to cut this off of the edge here. There. Okay. Now it opens and closes. Now I want to add some pockets on mine. So I do think I'm going to take this and on the inside, I'm going to add just a little skinny pocket right here. Oh, and who knows what I'm going to use on the other side. And maybe we'll round these corners since everything else is rounded. Just a little bit, just a little baby round. Yeah, we'll just give it the little baby round just to take just to take it off of the off of there and not look so harsh. You know, nothing 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 big. It would eat it up if we did. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do another one here, but it's going to be springtime. And I'll show you the difference. So we're going to run some glue right across the bottom. And I always... I always go up one line from the bottom. And I use my lines to line it up. Just like that. That's about the only time my lines are straight. Oh, and I forgot the sides, didn't I? There we go. There's one. And I forgot this side. There. Now I got a little pocket right there. Okay, so now, how about, let me get that lid on there. Okay, now I got a little pocket right here. And as soon as that dries, I'm going to put something in there. So let's see what else we have in here. Ah, here's our little box. Let's see what we have in here. Well, that's not Christmas. Let's find our Christmas ephemera. Ah, here's some that we can put in there. We'll put a little Santa in there. Let's see what else we can put across the bottom. All right, so we're going to put Santa in there. And what else can we put across the bottom? That's not Christmas stuff. Let's get down here to the Christmas stuff. And we're going to dig out another piece of paper. That's not Christmas. Christmas must all be up here at the top. All right, let's put a pocket, let's put a pocket on the back. All right, let's see if we can find another piece of, is that Christmas, any of this Christmas here? Nope. Let's find another piece of Christmas paper that we like. We can put on the back. What's that? That's not Christmas paper. Mm, yeah, let's put that back there. Okay. Now you can make any size pockets on these that you want. They can be tall pockets, deep pockets, any any size pocket that you want. They can be these little tuck pockets like I'm making. Um, and maybe what we'll do is on the other one that we're going to do, we'll make a bigger pocket. And I'll show you what they look like. Okay. Here's this one, and where I'm going to put it right here. Okay, and as soon as that dries, we'll put our little girls in there. Okay, and I'm thinking in here, I want to put this little guy right here, just as a little tuck. Just as a little tuck. So we're going to put glue here and here. Right here. There we go. You can use your Christmas stickers. There we go. So as things start to dry, yeah, see, that can fit in there. Over here, we can either put Santa here 
or we can put Santa here. I think I like Santa sticking over here. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a piece of music paper. Here we go. Where'd it go? Okay, a little piece of music paper in there. There we go. Now what can we what should we put up here? We're gonna hand write a word or let's see. What else do we have we can put up there? Oh, I know. Let's get out our... Nah, let's just write a word this time. Let's just write a word. Let me find my... Let's see. Let's, let's write it in green. All right, let's make sure this writes. Okay, it writes. How about we write, what do we want to write? Let's write joy. And this is a gel pen. There we go. We'll put joy up there. And here's our little Christmas one. See, quick and easy. And you can make a bigger pocket in there if you want. Okay. So, let's make another one here. This time... We're going to use this paper. And this is double-sided paper. So, what I'm, I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to use the paper for this. So, to do that, all right, we need to pull this up. We need to measure this. Let's get our glue stick out of the way. And let's get our paper cutter. Okay, we need to measure this. We need two pieces of four by six paper. Now, this is directional paper on both sides, okay? So we need paper. Let's get this over here. Uh, let's see here, I need paper that's six inches long. Oh, I just pulled it right out. Okay. And hold on, let me find the four here. Oh, you know what? I just cut that wrong, didn't I? Because it's going to go, let's see, it's going to go that way. So let's see. What's going to be the best way for it? So let's cut it this way. Yeah, let's change the way we cut it here. Let's do it this way. So our birdhouse, because I want the birdhouse on the front. You all knew I was going to do that wrong, didn't you? You knew it. There we go. I think my wire's bent here. That's not going to be good, is it? All right, there's one. All right, so I want this to go this way. Well, that's going to go in our scrap box. That's going to go in our scrap box. 
And this is going to go this way. Okay. Put that up there. Okay. Now we're going to pretty much do the same thing, except this time we're going to use washi tape. So let me get the washi tape out here. Get a hold of it. All right, these are the washies I pulled out for this. So that's going to be the front. Oop, don't even have it in line, do I? That's going to be the front, and that's going to be the inside. Okay, so we need to make our little bump. So let me find it here. What did we do with it? There it is. I see it. I see it. It's hiding. Right, right there. Let's put it, let's put it over here this time. Let's put it on this side. Now, here's my pencil. There we go. Okay. Now, of course, you don't have to have your file bump. You know, of course, that's what I call it. You don't have to have one of those if, if you don't want it. Um, you can just have it straight if you don't, you know, straight and cut across if you don't want one of those. Now, I'm going to try and make mine round before I even take it off. Ah, how about that? There we go. Let's get my paper bin back up. That's not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad. All right, so let's see how that looks. All right, so we got to cut this piece off here. Oh, there's the paper. So here's where we cut off. All the way across. Here's the big scissors. Okay. Let's see. I think I have something on my scissors. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. It's going to be just like that. Well, I take that back. It's going to be like that. Like that. Okay. So let's put our let's put some pockets on here. And I want to use I want to use the boots as a pocket on the back. Okay. Well looky there, we have the right size we need. So let's go on. Let's go on and put our little thumb notch right there. And I think, I think I want to use the light green on this one. Just, just a little bit of it. I don't want to, I don't want to use a lot of it. I just want to use a little bit of it. So let's get our light green. Let me find it here. That's the orange. That's dark brown. That's purple. Well, maybe we don't have a light green. So guess what? We're going to start one. 
All right, let's just do a little bit of green. Yeah, that's a little different, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, do you guys buy things like inks and oxides and, and ink sprays and stuff, and then you never use them? You know, you, you find your favorites, and, and then that's all you ever use? Boy, I'm telling you what, I I'm guilty of that. I'm I'm guilty, guilty, guilty. I I see all this stuff and I think, oh yeah, that would be fun. That would be so much fun to use. And then, um, you know, and then I and then I I get it and I think, well, you know, maybe maybe I don't like it. Maybe maybe I'll just stick with my favorite that I like. And I'm using Distress, Distress Oxide Mode Lawn for this green. I think our Mode Lawn days here in Pennsylvania are over. Our high temperature today was 29. So we're going to see what temperature we, we reach this afternoon. But right now it's just cold outside. All right, I like this green on there. I don't use it very much. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, let's put the cap back on you. And let's put you back in the box over there so you can dry off a little bit. And let's put the brown back on. See, told you, go back to the brown every time. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave the, the corner square on this. And I'm gonna put this on before I put my washi tape on. I know, I know, I'm going wild and crazy. I'm going wild and crazy. But I wanted to show you. Okay, so let's let's do this. Okay. So here's a big pocket on this one. And I'm lining it up all the way at the bottom and I'm lining it up all the way at the edge. It's edge to edge on this one. Okay. But, well, it's not very straight, but we'll trim that. It's edge to edge. Okay. So we're going to trim this piece that, you know, I didn't do very nicely. And I think I'm going to have to clean my scissors when we're done because... They're quite, they're quite dirty. Okay. And we'll work on the inside after we're finished. Okay. This is going to be just the same except it's washi tape. Now, I'm going to use my grid to keep it lined up. And I have it backwards. Okay. Now, if you're used to working with washi tape, you know that some washi tape just is not very sticky. Um... Some of mine comes off really, really sticky, and some of it, even when I buy it new, it is not sticky at all. So let's see what we want to use outside on this blue. I think I like this one. But, I, oh no, 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 no. I like this one. I like this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is on the outside of both of these, I'm going to take my glue. Let me put my washi tape down here. It was hard. I could only pick out a few of them to work on this, and I had to, you know, leave the rest of them in the big storage box, and whew, that was hard. Okay, this one that I picked is not very sticky. All right, so I'm going to take, maybe I am, Ugh. Okay, guys, I'm going to take my glue, and this is my glue stick, and I'm going to, I'm going to use my finger, and I'm going to go right across the bottom, and I'm going to spread some glue right across the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to take my washi tape, and I want it to be longer 
then my bottom piece. Okay. Let me put that away. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this piece to, for my glue. Okay. I'm going to put some glue on my finger. Or I'm going to try. And I'm going to run it across the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to have to use the glue stick. And I just have a little bit sticking out, and I'm just running a little bit across the bottom. And I know you can't, I know you can't see the glue. Okay. Now I'm going to line this up just like I did before. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Now, what you can do is you can flip this over. You put the glue on the washi. And you can flip it over. And you can pull it snug and flip it over. Now, now you need to fold your pocket. And make sure it's make sure it's tight. So get your get your bone folder or the edge of your scissors or whatever you use and go back and forth across it so you make sure that you have your tape completely down. Any parts of your tape that you've missed, use your, your white glue or whatever glue that you're using, okay? So we've got our big pocket here. The bottom of it is secured with our washi. Now we can decorate the inside. And if you want any of this on the inside or a book page that you can decorate with, say, um, say you want to use, all right, let's go wild and crazy here. Let's see what we have in here. Let's see if we got some book page in here. I think we do. Let's see what we've got in here. Here, how about some coffee dyed paper? Let's put a piece of coffee dyed paper in here. Because this would really be hard to write on. Okay. Let's do that on one side. We're going to put that over there. And over here, let's put some pockets. Except we're going to turn them this way. Let's put it this way. All right, let's get our green back out. OK. 
Okay. Now this is going to be a pocket down here, down here at the bottom. So you can put anything you want in here. You can put some little stickers in here. You can put some little pieces of ephemera in here. And these fit so well into a pocket into your journal. And I am going to... Right there. They don't take up any room at all in your journal. Right there. And then we're going to put here... We're going to use our glue stick. How about I put the top on my glue this time? Yeah. Let's make this stand out a little bit against the boots. This one might be nice for someone who's doing a garden journal. Um... we go. All right, so on the back of it, this would look really nice in somebody's garden journal. In one of their pockets, they could write about their, their garden in here. Okay. Or you could write them a note right there. Okay, let's make sure that that's flat down. And anything that isn't, you can use your art glitter glue, you can use your tacky glue. If you use tacky glue or any other wet white glue, make sure you don't close it up until it's had a chance to dry. That way it won't stick to this page. All right, let's put something in our pockets. Let's get that out of the way. Let's see what we have here. Now, oh, here. Let's tear this off here a little bit. Now, you don't have to tear these edges if you don't want to. You don't have to do that. But I like torn edges. There we go. And I would use I would use this one on this one. I wouldn't use the green. And I would put it I would put it in there and even if it's stuck up a little bit, that's okay. And maybe this one. And I would just pull it just like that. And I think I would put this on the back. Oop, wrong side. I think I'd put the butterflies back here. Santa. We don't want Santa. And maybe some flowers. So this just kind of gives them something that they can they can take this out. It's got a little bit of ephemera in it. They can decorate their book. And if the person if the person isn't you that you're giving it to and they don't like the ink then don't ink it. Don't use any ink on it at all. There we go. Um, that way when they go to use it, um, it's ready for them. Let's see. Oh, here. How about we use some little squirrels? I just love these little squirrels. There we go. So now it's full of all kinds of stuff. And to hold it closed, I'm just going to use a, I'm just going to use a little paper clip. 
and I'm going to get into my little, where's my little ribbon one at here? Oh, wait here. I've got some decorated paper clips here. Let's see if we've got a decorated paper clip for spring. I'm sure we do. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here we have a little butterfly. Let's use the butterfly. There we go. We'll just put the little butterfly on there and hold it closed. There. Now it's ready to go into a pocket that's in a journal. Here, and I'll show you in our soft cover journal. Now, this is winter, of course, but, you know, it could go in any journal. Let's see here. How about we put our ink? How about we close up our ink? And get this stuff off of here so I don't get the journal all dirty. Let's see here. Here. So it could go in a little pocket like this. And there you go. It's ready to go. You could just stick it in a little pocket. And it's ready to roll. Okay, well, thank you for joining me at the Ladybug Journals today. I've enjoyed having you in my craft room, and I hope you come back to play some more. Um, always having friends in your craft room is so much more fun. I hope you have a super-duper day. Bye for now!